President Donald Trump says that he could win the war in Afghanistan in just a week. However, he also added that it would mean killing 10 million people, which he didn't want to do. If I wanted to win that war, Afghanistan would be wiped off the face of the earth. It would be gone. It would be over in literally in 10 days. I just don't want to kill 10 million people. Now, the war has been going on for roughly two decades. 2,400 American personnel have been killed. Over $1 trillion has been spent. But Donald Trump says he can walk in and save the day. Let's not forget how he defeated ISIL in no time at all. We just took over 100% caliphate. Today, we have liberated virtually all of the territory from the grip of these bloodthirsty monsters. So there's ISIS, and that's what we have right now. I did more in the last three or four weeks than people have done in years. Now, he may have had some help from a few other countries. After all, the United States is not the only country involved in fighting the ISIL terrorists. But who's counting anyway? And remember, he said he saved the world from nuclear war. Prior to my becoming president, it was a very, very bad situation, a very dangerous situation for South Korea, for North Korea, for the world. And I think the relationship that we've developed has, uh, has meant so much to so many people. No nuclear testing, no major missile testing, nothing like when I first got here. So now with tensions in the Strait of Hormuz, Trump says he's going to show the Islamic Republic of Iran who's boss. Only goes to show what I'm saying about Iran. Trouble, nothing but trouble. The greatest people in the world. We have the greatest equipment in the world. We have the greatest ships, most deadly ships. We don't want to have to use them, but they're the most deadly ships ever conceived. At this point, tensions are rising. Oil tankers have been seized, but we know that if things cool off, a certain person will probably take the credit. In fact, some are even pushing the idea that he's been sent by God, a kind of foul-mouthed guardian angel to protect us here on Earth. Could it be that, that President Trump right now has been sort of raised for such a time as this, just like Queen Esther, to help save the Jewish people from an Iranian menace? As a Christian, I, I certainly believe that's possible. Trump has very little to show for his foreign policy. Most of it is a fantasy. Uh, the Americans didn't defeat ISIS in Syria. Uh, the Americans couldn't make the North Koreans tremble and give up their nuclear weapons. Uh, the Americans can impose a lot of suffering on Iran by imposing new economic sanctions after Trump shredded the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. But outside of imposing misery on other people around the world, there's not much to show for it. And as a consequence, Donald Trump struts around like a rooster. Uh, he's crowing all the time about his great power. You never know what Donald Trump's bottom line is. It's all bluster and bluff and threats. If he says one thing one day, he might change it the next day. He looks like a joke. He looks like a circus clown on the international diplomatic stage. It doesn't help Trump, and it certainly doesn't uh, help the image of the United States. So remember, when things go right, Trump did it. And if things go wrong, well, let's just hope they don't. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.